I will never shut up about these two favorites of mine. Bram Stoker's Dracula. The movie, I don't really like the book that much. It's okay. You could talk shit about the book. I don't really care. And March Awakens Romance manga slash anime. The first 76 episodes. And I always made a mistake in those videos saying that it was the first 75 episodes, but forgive me. Um, it's just after that point, it's just like a bunch of filler thrown at you, but uh, let's just get into it. Um, I mean, let's just face it, these two have the most remarkable stories um, ever put in on film, paper, and again, paper. But anyways, um, these just have memorable stories. I mean, some of the stuff that comes out today doesn't even have a memorable story because mostly it's just generic and boring. I mean, let's face it, when was the last good action movie or horror movie, drama movie, comedy, fantasy? And when was there the last good anime? Because, let's just face it, mangas and animes today are just generic, bland, and boring. I mean, in, in my opinion, but... I mean, the only reason why I like these two is because they're both similar in storytelling. Kind of. Kind of. I mean, yes... Dracula takes place back in the day, or what it seems at the start of the film, and then it takes place in 1897, and then, of course, Mar takes place in today, and then when Gita goes to Mar, it takes place back in the day. So, if you get what I'm saying, if you do understand what I'm saying, because this movie takes place back in the day, and then in modern day, and then this takes place in modern day, and then it takes place back in the day, if you get what I'm saying, when he goes to that other world. So you get me? They're both similar in storytelling, because it's telling the story back in the day. I mean, mostly, yes, I do admit, I do like stories that take place in the present day. Hell, regular show... Family Guy, um, you just name it, you name all of them, okay, fuck it, uh, even American Werewolf in London took place in the present day, but, um, these have memorable characters, I mean, come on, Dracula, Jonathan Hawkard, Mina, Van Helsing, uh, Arthur Homewood, uh, Quincy, uh, Jack, uh, Lucy, uh, Renfield, Mar, um, forgettable characters, Ginta, Alan, and the fellow characters in the anime. Of course, the only memorable characters is Dorothy, uh, Minashi, Alvis, Jack, and Snow. And many other of the several chess pieces. Halloween, Roland, uh, Chimera, and so on and so forth. Um, both have really good writing and uh, really good literature. And both have um, interesting plots. But I will admit, Dracula's plot is always really good. But if you want a little bit of fantasy thrown into back in the day, you choose this too. But yeah, um, say whatever you want about them. I don't really care. I don't let it get to me that much because I'm a good fanboy. I'm not a bad fanboy. Dash keyboard warrior. Okay. I'm just saying because some of the trolls and haters 
that's what they love to do all day. And to be honest with you, I don't really care at this point. Go ahead, talk about the two series if you want to. Talk negative about them. But at the end of the day, we have different tastes, people. Okay? You might like DBZ or Bleach or One Piece. Or you might like Requiem for a Dream. That movie was okay, though. You might like The Watchmen. I despise that movie. I hate that movie. Don't mention that movie on my channel, whatever you do. It's hard if you do mention it in the comments or something like that. Okay, fine, you like the film, but I sure as hell don't. And there's many upon many other films I didn't like. But these two always are put first before everything else. Because everything else is really, really good, too. And good. But I'm just telling you right now, I, I defend these two, and these two is uh, the best thing that ever happened to, into my life, and they are both my favorites. And yeah. I mean, I'm just going to tell you straight up right now. This mo movie is pure gangster grill marks. The manga slash anime, gangster grill marks. I mean, there is nothing else that could beat these two. I mean, yeah, they do, do come close at beating the two. I mean, regular show is in third place. Family Guy is in fourth place. Um, I guess House is kind of like in sixth place. But there was another show that's really good, and that's in fifth place. But I can't remember what it is. Uh, in the moment now. Um, I'm trying to think of some other shit. I don't know. Other than that, this was just a video just explaining why I like the two and defending the two as well. Um, if you don't like it, that's okay. I understand. We have different tastes as people. You don't have to like the same stuff that I like because... Then if you did, then the world would be a boring place, okay? And if we wasn't different and we was all the same, we would be bored of each other. And that's what makes the world uh, a good and better place because we have different tastes and different likes and dislikes. But you got to understand where I'm coming from, okay? I like really good stories. I like really good characters. I like really good writing. I like really good everything about these two. And these fucking two won me over. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. And I am out. Peace.